there are three films that kind of map my journey into falling in love with horror and thriller films. One is One Miss Call, the other is A Nightmare on Elm Street, and the same night that I watched the original Nightmare on Elm Street, I watched Final Destination. And actually it was Final Destination 3, but then I very quickly went and watched the first one because it gripped me. And the premise was so incredible that I fell in love with it. And now, about eight years later, I'm completely in love with this subgenre of premonitions. So the first Final Destination film was released 21 years ago in 2000, directed by James Wong with a screenplay by Wong and Glenn Morgan. And it stars, among others, Devon Sawa, Ali Larter and Kerr Smith. And the description from IMDb is as follows. Alex Browning is among a group of high school students readying themselves for a trip to Europe. When he suddenly has a premonition the airplane will crash, he screams to warn the others, but instead he is thrown off the plane. So these students are all on this airplane and he gets this premonition that this plane is going to crash, they're all going down, tragic things are going to happen. Nobody will listen to him. I think that's a pretty reasonable response. I think if everybody suddenly got off the plane, it would be unrealistic. But nobody listened and tragedy unfolds. The whole point of this is that we get these premonitions, people will die. Some people will escape death and if they escape death, they will die in other ways. And there's the great excitement of not knowing what's going to happen next, not knowing what's right around the corner. For those who got off of the plane, are they going to survive to the end of the film? It's it's so fantastic and I love that idea and you never know how people are going to die. And obviously it's a tragic subject matter, people do die in real life in aeroplane crashes. But some of the other ways are a lot more creative and inventive and unexpected. And it's just so thrilling because you do not know what is going to happen next. And I'll be the first to admit that Final Destination, the first film, is not quite as good as well definitely not as good as the third one which is my favorite but i think it's probably better than the second one maybe i don't know how i'd rank them but it's not the best in the series so even if you watch this and you think nah, it was all right definitely give the third film a go absolutely watch the third one as i think you will i think you will absolutely love it it's gripping, it's thrilling, it's beautifully shot, it's very intense, the atmosphere is spot on. I didn't really care for any of the characters, I didn't care who survived, I didn't care who died, I wasn't that bothered. For me, it's not about following the character's journey, it's about being on this utter thrill ride with not knowing what's going to happen next. It's very, very unpredictable. Unusually, although it has a very respectable 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, it only has a meta score of 36, which I think is a little bit peculiar. It is an award winner. It won the Best Horror Film and the Best Performance by a Younger Actor for Devon Sawa at the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fantasy and Horror. It was nominated for several other awards and it also won the uh, Breakthrough Performance Female for Ali Larter at the Young Hollywood Awards. So in terms of accolades, it's done quite well. In terms of reception, it seems to be a mixed bag, but personally, I really liked it. Not as much as the third, but I did adore it. It's one of my favourite horror thriller film series. It's just, it's perfect. I will watch it again and again, and even when I kind of watch it enough that I know what's happening and I know what's about to come next, it's still so gripping. If you haven't seen it, and you're into horror, please watch it. I promise you won't be disappointed. If you're new to horror, I'd say it's quite strong, and maybe not the best option, but at the same time, I was quite new to horror when I watched this. Um, so, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Personally, I love it.